Okay, hata tuanze sasa. Eh, uh, so the first thing uh, ile tutafanya tukuja to create new. Eh, uh, hash include io stream. Uh, use uh, namespace and that after putting some i in the main so we are going to edit the query in well how to write arrays in well studio mm-hmm. so mhm takuwa na int in the start unajua where on plus mo kuna in na initialization int start is equals to zero and uh, of course now i'm going to check um, uh, before that i'm going to declare my array uh, int array array let me say it contain five elements is equals to or oh, not it should not be equals to anything and array may contain five elements so from that point sita shida ni kitumia user input for now and takuja tu nseme array uh, array at point zero is equals to something is equals to 100 alafu we are going to copy paste this to copy paste up for five times three four five sasa array at key number one itakuwa equals to 500 or something else doesn't matter so number two itakuwa um, three number array at key three itakuwa um, eight array at key last four kwani lazima u declare kila kitu itakuwa 300 unajua sahihi hatutaki user input unaweza ika user input ukitaka yeah dot cpp nitakuonyesha hiyo tukifika hapo kwa folder yeah. so, lakini sasa wakati unataka tu kuandika just to to show yeah. lazima uh, you have to nini yeah. you have to to first of all you have to to define to show tunasema hadi you have to show the the nini the array yeah. and key what the contain yeah from that nitakuja niweke while loop and i'm going to say while uh, start while well, start is less than oops is less than 5 because our array contains 5 i'm going to say yeah, start okay. yeah start 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 dio hii start itakuwa iki ni initialization yeah lakini start sasa start itakuwa ina inaanzia zero si ile set imeanza zero Mm. So itakuwa inaanza zero kile dai. Unaweza kitu kingine instead ya start. Unaweza tumia index. Unaweza kuja useme this is just but a variable index hivyo. Mm. You understand? Naweza kuja niseme cuz by the inafaa kwa index. Unaweza kuja useme commonly used data for for keys is i. Unaweza kuja useme i just that. Int i is equal to zero. Eh. Uh-huh. So from that point itakuja niseme well i is less than 5. So ina maanisha aje nikisema well i is less than 5. So tunatoka zero mpaka 4 so ndio 5 is not included mm-hmm. so nikumaanisha ni 0 from 0 to 4 hivyo tu so uh, from that you just come here and say are see out are yeah i and uh, of course you can just concatenate and say that sasa hii hii tunataka i print hizo vitu vizuri na isipatie space na comma so from that point tukuja tuseme i plus plus the first program is through the first program is over that all about the first program uh, so now i want to see out see out uh, there uh, uh, there Give on. So ni grand program so acha tu ni run program ni one what is going to happen it may output all my array 1153 so that's the first program na hiyo ndio ya hello that's how unaweza tumia hello to create array in a hello umeona mm. in a hello loop mm. <laughs> so that's being the first program to tie that to the yeah, to the next program Pia. Okay, thanks comrades. Welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Benson Karewe Mwangi, author from bestqsystems.com. Eh, uh, now we're going to look on how to deal with uh, arrays and for uh, this time we are going to allow the user. So this time we are going to allow the user input. So I'm just going to include using C++ io stream. Uh, here here your file. That file must be available. I'm doing that using name space standard. Mhm. Alafu ya we are going to have in the main. Sa. Aha. 
from that point we are going to declare um, into dimension dimension and dimension we are also going to have into start I'm going to index. Let me just call it index. Yeah, something like that. And I'm also going to have int array. Int array. And this array by default is going to contain 1000 elements. Yeah, it is an integer. <clears throat> uh, from that point, to the user, to the user, how many numbers do you want to store in my array? See out. So I will say, how many numbers? Put it. How many numbers do you want to store in my in my array? Yeah, great. So C in it was C in dimension. C in dimension now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From that point Takuja ni same for Takuja sa ni to me for for index is equals to zero. Index is less than is less than dimension i'm going to loop as far as index is less than dimension dimension index i'm a plus plus index you can just say plus plus index or index plus plus it doesn't matter uh, from that point uh i'm going to request the user to input to input a number so i'm going to tell them enter in a number okay uh, enter a number yeah great so from that um, enter a number i'm just going to have a del there and i'm going to uh, see in a uh, array index now index the same index is going to be what let me save this as well. Save it. Yeah. Uh, sorry. So, let me make mistakes. Yeah. So, now you can see I would enter a number. And there C in index. So, this time we are not using uh, what the dimension of the array we give. This is just by the default value. So, the value that we are going to replace is dimension. And if as far as dimension is less than index all the way from zero, if dimension will be 80, then we are going to allow the users to input 18 numbers, 18 numbers or 79 numbers for that matter. Because this time dimension is not included, so it is zero where dimension is less than one. So C in enter a number. From that I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to echo how the user is entered. I'm going to say um, you entered. Uh, you entered. I'm going to say okay. Sorry. So now you entered all, you entered four. I'm going to repeat for for index is equals to zero. Index is less than dimension. Dimension and I'm going to say index plus plus or plus plus index. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. From that point, I'm going to say C out. Uh, dimension oh, see out array start index yeah uh, then I have to put a comma for the next number then I'm going to, to return uh, return zero so from this point see out and then I'm also going to say and then now the program should be running very well. So we could run, we run your program up on that one linking. So in a cooler, how many numbers do you want to store in my array? And I'm going to say I want to store two. It is going to say enter a number 20, enter a number up on it. So enter a number 20. That will be you enter the 2020. Uh, something went wrong somewhere. Yeah. So let me just rerun the program again and see. Uh, the layout of the program. So, how many numbers do you want? I want to enter three numbers. So, I want to enter two, six, the forty. Enter sixty, forty. Oh, let me do where the problem is. So, enter. Oh, I should not have said it there. So that to format the program well. Uh -huh. So, how many numbers do you want to enter? I want to enter five, forty-five, sixty-three, six twenty-three, ninety-six, like that. 
yeah and it's good to say you entered 45623963 but this program is very messy nataka this program yani isiishe is not weird until we tell it to end so i'm going to declare in another program in another in another program is equals to 1 and then i'm going to say while another well another well another program is equals to 1 or when another program has the same value as 1 then i'm going to mm, i'm going to do something the whole loop is going to to be inside there so then i identify everything in the whole loop so i'm saying as far as another uh, program is if you run this program it will never end but that is going to have infinite loop because we have we don't have the condition to stop or the increment or decrement we don't know what is being so to stop this program from working we are going to introduce another while loop another while loop and you're going to say well by the way before we introduce another while loop we are going to update another program another program is equal to zero and from that i'm going to say well another well another uh, program is not equals to one and uh, uh, this time you're going to check and another program uh, another program is not equals to two it's not equals to two then we are going to do that uh, huh. we are going to ask the user two options either to decline or to stop so mm, i'm going to just just to say number one uh, i'm going to ask do you really do you really want do you really want to store other numbers do you really want to store other numbers other i do you want to store other numbers in my array so that's a question yeah do you want to store other numbers in my array uh, then here you should have to add l uh, to add l to add l uh, from that point i'm going to say see out option number one option number one to be continue continue so then i add there and then see out option number two to decline number two and i'm going to say decline and then i'm going to say add there then i update the another transaction uh, another oh another program then i have to update it by allowing the user to input something from another program yeah great so that's all you need for that how to uh, deal with um, for loop and arrays using user input yeah so i'm going to run the program and see what is going to happen yeah the program has run so what you are going to do now uh, how many numbers do you want to store in my array i want to store three numbers and i'm going to say enter a number i'm going to enter 23 i'm going to enter 63 i'm going to enter 96 and then i enter and it is you entered 23 and 96 do you really want to store another number eh, the program is not well formatted let me just format it very well uh -huh. do you really want to store another number So I should be having a del here by the way. I should be having a del there. So uh, now I run the program. After running the, the program, um, how many numbers do you want to store in my array? And I'm going to say I want to store uh, three. Let me just use three. And I'm going to say 20, 16. 96 and i could say you enter 20 that is 96 do you really want to store another other numbers in my array you can press one to continue and it could say how many numbers do you want to store in my array and i'm going to say i want to store nine numbers okay so enter a number evo evo so you can enter all the numbers until So it will tell you you have entered all those nine numbers. You entered three, three, six, nine like that. Like, do you really want another program? And because 
I don't want to keep joking with the program and we'll go to decline. Now the program is over because you've placed number two. So that's our program. Your dual program that you can use for for where or for how to deal with the race and and uh, for loop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the next video to talk yeah, how to deal with the race and do where loop. Yeah. So Great. Now, welcome to this video once again. Benson Karoy, all the from bestqsystems.com. So, for this video, we are going to deal with the do while loop, and of course, how you can manipulate it in a program, uh, in a C++ program. So, I'm going to start a new program. Hash encode uh, IO stream. Yeah. Oops. Hash include IO stream, and I'm going to say using namespace standard. So, it's say int main. Int main. So now I'm going to have int n. Uh, of course, I must be having the, the array. I'm going to have array, dimension of an array. And I'm going to say array to contain just four elements. It doesn't matter. Four elements. This time I'm not going to allow you to say input because it's a lot of work. For this time, I'm just going to say array at position zero to be equals to 123. Or just just initialize those array. This time let me just teach you another concept. Then we can initialize arrays in C++. Uh, so to initialize array in C++, you do this. Yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah. Uh, you put a semicolon. Then you put your numbers here. If it is numbers, 12, 23, 56, and 100. Uh, from this now. We are going to say do. Uh, we are going to see out. Uh, of course, I should be having int int i, which is an index, is equal to zero. Uh, from that, I'm going to say array at position i. Yeah. And uh, from that point, then I'm going to look condition where uh, where i must be less than four because my the dimension of what is one two three four yeah well i is less than four then return zero and the problem is over but but you have to check the condition that i is increasing is not decreasing so i'm going to say i plus plus that's the way you deal with do well and you deal with do well and arrays and it will continue doing everything here as far as i is increasing and as far as it's not it's less than i so this is all simple program for the do well in arrays so um, it has outputted all that, but I'm having a certain problem because I needed to do something like this. Yeah, I put a comma because it's going to loop all those times. So it has outputted my number very well, well. They are well formatted, and I can just come here and also format the program again and say C out Adele Adele. Oops, Adele. Adele. It doesn't matter. So Adele, mini Adele, just means that you're going to have a well formatted program. So, mm -hmm. problem. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the program is well formatted. You have outputted 12, 23, 56, just the way they are here, because this is what we wanted to be outputted. So, that's all we have for this video. Meet another time. Goodbye.